Hi everyone, Teresa here and welcome to my everyday. So today I have another thrift haul for you guys. I don't go to the thrift store very, very often, but I did go in with my mom and my sister actually about a week or two ago. I've had these bags sitting here because I did have a couple people say they enjoyed my last thrift haul, which I did a collab with my sister. And so I thought that I would share again and see if you guys like these videos. When I do go to the thrift store, I will share what it is that I got with you guys. I did think it was worth sharing because I did find some really great things and I will save the best for a Last because wow like I said I don't go very often but this time boy was I glad that I went in so if you're interested in seeing what it is that I picked up at the thrift store just stick around and I'll show you so the first thing that I have to show is this jacket I got this really nice comfortable athletic works jacket funny enough I have an athletic works jacket that I love I especially love because it's this kind of waterproof water resistant material um, the one that I have is like that and I love it especially for like rainy days or misty days where you think it might rain or there's rain in the air but it's not downpouring so you don't actually need a rain coat so I got this and I absolutely love it it has a nice light fleece lining on the inside in purple and then this nice purpley gray and taupey kind of plaid pattern it has these little zipper pockets on the, or no it's not zipper it has these nice little pockets on the side here and so i just thought that it was super cute fits really really nicely very very comfortable and i got this for nine dollars so i should say that on the day that i went in they didn't actually have any like 50 percent off sales or sweaters for 99 cents or anything like that so what i saw is what i bought it's there it was the price that was listed was the price that i paid but again it is a thrift store so you're already getting a deal i got another little jacket this one is more like a blazer and it's not for everyone it's a little out there but i'm a little out there so it's this nice bright fuchsia kind of like a hound's tooth pattern on it the fuchsia and black I just thought it was super pretty I love wearing black but when I do wear color I love wearing bright pink bright green things like that so I thought it would be really nice um, especially to wear to work or pretty much anywhere you can dress it up with a nice pair of trousers you can dress it down with a nice cute pair of jeans and so I thought I would pick this up I also paid nine dollars for this jacket it has a nice, it has a nice little zipper, um, and I just thought it was just super pretty and super fun, so I got that. Now I know it's springtime and sweaters are on their way out, but with the way the weather has been, it's actually been pretty chilly. So I got this sweater, uh, the brand on it is Blue Crush. The jacket that I just mentioned didn't actually have a label, at least not one that that I recognized. So this sweater is from Blue Crush. I just loved it. It has this cute heart on the front. It's super comfy. It's nice and long. And so I just fell in love with it. Um, I figured I could wear it with some skinny jeans or some leggings. So I picked this up, especially since it's been really chilly. I should actually quickly wash it and get some wear out of it because it's been raining a lot here and it's been kind of cold. So I might as well hold on to my sweaters for as long as I can. And then when the fall rolls around and winter rolls around, which unfortunately will be sooner than later then I have this nice cute little sweater to wear now I did get something for spring that I am super excited about I got this shirt by revolution by Ricky's so it's from the Ricky's store I just thought that it was super pretty it's just this nice little light uh, knitted t-shirt type shirt it has a little keyhole opening in the back which i thought was super cute and it also has a little bit longer scoop in the back which i appreciate so it kind of will cover my butt i guess you could say so i just thought it was super pretty nice and light and fresh for spring and then i also got this really super fun scarf I believe this scarf was about a dollar fifty. The shirts, I'm not hundred percent sure. I think the t-shirt type was three dollars, and the sweater might be five or six. Um, but the scarf was about two dollars, I think, and I just really liked it. It's a really nice just kind of nice wide scarf sometimes even in the spring when it's chilly inside it's nice to have a little scarf to wear I just thought that it was super pretty nice and fun I just love the pattern on it it has little crosses all over it 
And so those was a lot of the things that I wear, so I got that. And I love going to the thrift store and finding things that are brand new, still with the tags on, still in the packaging. I found this eyelet bed skirt in a full size. My daughter has a full or a double bed and she's actually due for a new bed skirt. Her current bed skirt actually is also an eyelet um, pattern and I love it but it's starting to come apart a little bit. She's 10 so and she's had it for quite some time and children can be rough on their things. So I was super excited to find this bed skirt still in the packaging. It is originally from the linens and things. It says that the original price was $50 down to $24.99 in the store and they sold it at the Goodwill store which is the thrift store that I went into for $6 still in the package. Of course I will wash it still before putting it on her bed but I'm super excited to have found this. And then the last item that I picked up at the thrift store, I was on my way out the door and I always like to check out the electronics section just in case there are, you know, charging cords or something, DVD players for my kids. Sometimes we buy a cheap DVD player and it stops working or a VCR because we do still have some VHSs of old movies we like to watch. And so I was walking through the electronics section and they had just put out a 40 inch TV and they had it marked down to $25. Now I got super excited because we were due for a new TV in our living room so of course I asked them if there was anything wrong with it and they said as far as they knew it worked so I was able to I was able to get it for $25 got it home it worked for a good 24 hours and I will admit there was a small little flaw on it. My husband was able to take it apart, took it into the part into the electronic store, the back panel, and the part cost us $2 and we were able to fix it for that. So for $27 I got a 40 inch TV and I will either insert a picture in this video or a clip at the very end but I was super duper excited. So it's, it's totally worth it to go into the thrift store sometimes. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. You never know what deals you're going to get. So I was super excited about this trip to the thrift store. And like I said before, if you guys like thrift hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd also love any comments you'd like to leave me down below. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you. And I hope to see you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.